A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. It was not till fourteen years had passed that I went up to Jerusalem again. I went with Barnabas and took Titus with me. I went there as the result of a revelation, and privately I laid before the leading men the good news as I proclaim it among the pagans. I did so for fear the course I was adopting or had already adopted would not be allowed. On the contrary, they recognized that I had been commissioned to preach the good news to the uncircumcised, just as Peter had been commissioned to preach it to the circumcised. The same person whose action had made Peter the apostle of the circumcised had given me a similar mission to the pagans. So, James, Kephas, and John, these leaders, these pillars, shook hands with Barnabas and me as a sign of partnership. We were to go to the pagans, and they to the circumcised. The only thing they insisted on was that we should remember to help the poor, as indeed I was anxious to do. When Kephas came to Antioch, however, I opposed him to his face, since he was manifestly in the wrong. His custom had been to eat with the pagans, but after certain friends of James arrived, he stopped doing this and kept away from them altogether for fear of the group that insisted on circumcision. The other Jews joined him in this pretense, and even Barnabas felt himself obliged to copy their behaviour. When I saw they were not respecting the true meaning of the good news, I said to Kephas in front of everyone, In spite of being a Jew, you live like the pagans and not like the Jews, so you have no right to make the pagans copy Jewish ways. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Once Jesus was in a certain place praying, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray, Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us and do not put us to the test. The Gospel of the Lord